District 9 County Commissioners, Talia Green and Kim Mahoney. Thank you, and thank you to the JCs for, for hosting this event. It's always great to actually get out and meet those local candidates, um, of which I am one now. Um, my name is Talia Green, and I am running for county commissioner. A little bit of background about me. I own my own business. I do personal wine and buying consulting and in-home tastings. I'm also the program director for a nonprofit free bookstore called Embrace Books uh, out in the NIMS neighborhood. Um, we are excited to be out there and be part of that, especially because with the school being closed, um, to be a community resource out there. Um, if I look tired, it's because I really am. I have a newborn at home um, and two older children. Um, so they keep me uh, absolutely busy um, as well. I'm running for county commissioner uh, because I am raising a family here. My husband and I chose to stay in this area. He grew up here um, I knew when we got married. Um, we chose to stay here and raise our family rather than going somewhere else because we love our community. We love White Lake, love Muskegon County and what it has to offer. And I want this county to be some place that my kids want to stay when they get older. Um, mostly because I want to keep them close to me. I can understand uh, how parents do that, but it's really important. You know, we've been talking a lot about the budget because that is really a big concern right now. And people are saying, yes, you know, we've, we've reduced, you know, the budget by five million, um, but that means we were five million over the budget. Um, we should never have to go be to a place where say, what do we have to cut from what we're doing? Who do we have to lay off? What do we have to keep vacant? Um, you know, we should be improving things because we want to, not because this is a necessity. Um, taking money from the reserves is kicking the can down the road. Um, one of our commissioners actually told us that, um, you know, this is just pushing it further down the road and causing more problems for and setting things up for, um, you know, my children and for our children down the road to look at those budgets and when we run out of those uh, reserves to take care of it. So. It's really important to me to make sure that we have um, something sustainable. Thank you, Ken. A couple of minutes on uh, your background and why you're running for office. Okay, uh, my name's Ken Mahoney, I'm a lifelong resident of Muskegon County. I was about seven years in Chicago going to school. Uh, I'm a retired teacher from Holden Public Schools. I taught there for 30 some years. I had two years in Illinois before that. And I've been on the county board for nine years. Uh, personally, I have two grown daughters that both live in the area and six great-grandchildren. Uh, not great, but they're wonderful, let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, I have a passion myself for environmental activities. I was on the uh, White Lake Area PAC for 22 years. It took us to get the lake delisted from contamination left over from Hooker and uh, DuPont. Took us a long time to do that. Tannery is also involved in that. The county board has been moving forward by solving problems that have been around for a long time. I know the finances are tough, but a lot of that has to do with reduced state funding. The plan for paying for the jail has been working and been working well. The problem is uh, we lost half of the child care fund this year because they moved it to Cobo Hall in Detroit. They lost 600,000 in property taxes because of the downturn in 2008. And we've also lost a lot of the cigarette tax money, about half of it. So the problems that we ran into weren't so much the jail, but it was because of other kinds of funding reductions that we had anticipated having and it was not given to us by the state of Michigan. Um, and moving forward, we, we do have the jail. That solved a 30-year problem in this community. It also solved us from not spending six to $700,000 a year in maintenance in the old jail and looking forward to some sort of federal lawsuit because it was not appropriate. We created a public defender's office, which also had us involved in a statewide lawsuit concerning not providing the correct ability for those indigenous folks to have proper defense. Uh, moving forward from my own thoughts, we are now trying to create programs for our youth that will not 
allow them to return to the system they're in. And one more thing, I want to create a climate to encourage economic and job growth in the county. Thank you, Ken. What, what, uh, what views do you guys differ upon? So thank you for the question. Um, it's a great question. You know, for me, uh, you know, Ken has done a lot of good work. I mean, his name is attached to everything <laughs> in the White Lake area, I feel like. Um, and he's done some great work there. Um, but it really is something that we need to be looking, um, going back and looking at the budget. Because, you know, we say, yes, we have less funds coming in. But just, you know, in my personal household, if my job gets cut or if I don't get paid as much, I have to adjust my budget to live within those means. Um, does it suck? Yeah, it absolutely sucks when you have money cut and you have to make those hard choices, but it's something that we have to be flexible, we have to work with um, because we're stewards, as a, as a county government, we're stewards for our taxpayers' money and we owe it to them to be responsible for it just like we would expect them um, to be responsible with those funds. Ken? Um, I guess my concern is that that's what we've been doing is cutting the budget and that's where we're beginning to hear folks say why? Why is it being cut? We have reduced funding so we have to do something to make sure that we balance the budget. Now we did start with initially a 5.5 million budget however uh, going back to the department heads, they were able to do many things to reduce that uh, budget shortfall. And it's a lot less than it was, and by next year it'll be gone. Time for one, one more question for the candidates. Yes, sir. I have a question. Uh, in the past, I, uh, I tried working on a project out there. First of all, those kinds of regulations come through the local township government and the city government. Uh, we don't have the authority and to do anything with those. Uh, we try to cooperate as much as we can with the townships, and but we really don't directly control any of those things. Tell me. Yeah. Uh, another question? Let's, yes, Commissioner Mahoney, uh, thank you for uh, you know really doing a better job than I did when we talk about the budget and uh, some of the shortfalls that we've had. Uh, I thought you were right on point with what you said, but I was just wondering if you could maybe expound upon uh, the board and the economic development opportunities that are, that are uh, presenting themselves there. Board? Uh, well, we have them and uh, Commissioner Sabo and Commissioner Cross have been really uh, bulldogging that, if you want to call it that, of creating an issue to try and make Muskegon the port city again by using a resource that we have here in this county, uh, a deep water port on the west side of the state. Not anybody else has it. And that has been, now we're working through some legislation to make it a possible for us to create a port that will allow us to move forward and get regional prosperity going. Talia, would you like to comment on that? <laughs> the port? Sure. Um, you know, I think it's a fantastic thing and it's the kind of thing that our county government should be doing is advocating for the county um, to bring more business in here. So I think um, we've been making some strong steps, but that's the kind of thing that I'd like to see us uh, focus on in the future. Well, that's our time for these folks. So.